Oh, what's going on all you boob tubers out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming coming at you with a Fallout original, a post-apocalyptic nuclear adventure. Where we last left off, the Brotherhood of Steel were making us go on a fool's errand. And, uh, well, we're going to prove them wrong. We're no fool. It might, we might be running a fool's errand, but we are not the fool. They're going to be the fool for telling us to go do this. So, let's see what this thing is. Extremely advanced computer. We're going to try to get this wrapped up. How may I be of assistance? Who or what are you? I am a machine intelligence dedicated to research and installation control. I am called Zax. What kind of research? I am specifically programmed for research into biological studies, including pathology and genetic research. My primary function is an extrapolation of information on complexity levels exceeding human capacity. What are the particulars of your research? My research into the forced evolution virus, or FEV, indicates that it is a shifting absorptive virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA, storing these patterns in exons. These exons, combined with the FEV, are re-injected into the host cells in typical viral infectious fashion. This causes the host cells to regenerate their DNA. How do you catch FEV? FEV is not caught per se. It is not air transmittable. Typically, infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. Why isn't FEV affected by radiation? The FEV is a megavirus with a protein sheath reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. If the FEV reinfects the host with its assimilated viral patterns, how does it make a better specimen? The FEV is pre-programmed with introns of corrected DNA appropriate to the proper type of species. It, is therefore attempt, it therefore attempts to correct the DNA of the individual. However, as the FEV is partially reliant upon the DNA of the individual and also includes portions of its own recursive code, the effects can be unpredictable. When inoculated into an individual with significant genetic damage, such as through radiation, it will cause the body system to suffer massive overhauling, leading to organ failure and death. In a genetically viable individual, it rewrites portions of DNA, causing accelerated mutation, usually leading to recursive growth due to the FEV's own patterns. This recursive growth leads to an increase in muscle and brain mass, but is often accompanied by disfigurement and damage to existing neural patterns, causing loss of memory. What potential long-term side effects ex exist? As the FAV causes constant regenerative update to DNA, it could effectively render the subject largely immortal as cell death would be offset by augmented growth. Additionally, as the gametes of the reproductive system consist of half cells using split DNA, they could be perceived as damaged by FEV, which would repair them, rendering the subject sterile. However, as my laboratory facilities are damaged beyond repair, this is conjectural. I cannot offer physical proof. You will have to, in human terms, take my word for it. Could FEV mutation be corrected with a countervirus? No. FEV does not retain unaltered original copies of the subject's DNA. Only a virus which reinfected the subject with original DNA could revert the effects. Additionally, there is no known way to remove the FEV itself. Can we change the subject? How may I be of assistance? Grant me access to the mainframe. Access denied. Terminating input. How may I be of assistance? Want to play a game of chess? I would be delighted. Hopefully this won't. Excellent form. However, you will need additional practice to defeat me. Thanks. Can we change the subject? Grant me access to the mainframe. Access denied. Terminating input. You son of a bitch. Let's try this. Let's try using a key card on him. I don't know if it'll work. I'm not irradiated, so that's good. Let's see if we can use this on him if it'll grant us. Okay, that doesn't do shit. So let's see if we can't smooth talk this. See if we can't smooth talk this guy using playing some chess. Did 
Tell me about this facility. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002, is a private contractor for the United States government and company, initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapons Research and the Biomedical Sciences Division. In 2069, West Tech was, sing was the single largest contractor for the United States government, its largest contract being Powered Infantry Armor Model T-51B. In light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Virion Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team into the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Can you tell me particulars about specific areas? My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility and on subterranean levels 1 through 3. I can, however, provide descriptions of levels 4 through 6. Level 6. Level 6. Barracks and Central Operations. Contains living facilities for lab personnel and guard contingents and operations meeting room. Tell me about level 5. Secure testing labs. The level contains a lab for experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. These subjects provided some of the necessary impetus for the development of FEV. Level 4. Research facility. This level contains testing areas and laboratories for experiments in biology and physics. Back up a bit. Just trying to rack some of this, really rack some of this up here. Hopefully he'll... Access granted. Main menu. Base information. Okay, main menu. Security information. Main menu. Research information. Records most current at West Tech Research Facility. Research Division Employees Records. Personnel Records. Robert Anderson, Research Assistant, Security Clearance Blue, Station, Mariposa Military Base. Nick Davies, Director of NBC Division of West Tech Research, Security Clearance Blue, Rest Tech Research. John Isaac, Assistant, Clearance Red. Steve Remco, Assistant, Blue, Mariposa. Charles Reinhold, Head of Laser Development, Blue, West Tech. Michelle Santos, Lab Technician, Red, West Tech. Aaron Shellman, Leon Van Felden, head of FEV, code blue, download records to Pip Boy. Power armor status complete. T 51B powered infantry armor is designed with the latest passive defensive features for both civilian and military disturbances. The back mounted TX 28 micro fusion pack generates 60,000 watts to power the high flow hydraulic system built into the frame of the suit. Made of the latest polylaminate composite, the T 51B shell is lightweight and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules of kinetic impact. The 10 micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite subsurface. Download it. FEV. Summary Digest 2073. As China became increasingly aggressive with their use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that a countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Virion Project, PVP, was officially formed September 15th, 2073. It's the day after my birthday. 2075, it became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter uninfected DNA so that it was no longer susceptible to standard viral infection. 2076, unforeseen side effects began surfacing in, nearly, in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test subjects began showing an abnormal growth rate accompanied by increased brain, oh, where are we? Brain activity. The U.S. government took notice of these discoveries and in the interest of national security moved a team on site to secure and oversee the project, which was now dubbed the FEV, the Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. 2077, FEV nears completion. Tests on lab animals are at a near 100% success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately 60%. The potential intelligence increase by 200%. Effects upon human subjects remain unknown. Although they are theoretically promising, the military wishing to continue further testing builds a large facility at the Mariposa Military Installation in Central California. At this new facility, testing of the FEV virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military. Let's download it. All right. So we got what we wanted. We got the records. I don't know what they're going to do for us, but I figured if he was if he was being that if that computer was being that difficult, he had to uh, he had to have something on him. Okay. Let's uh where are we? What level are we even on? I don't even know. Let's do a map. Level 4. 
Yeah, scanner. No, we, we offloaded that because that was just kind of dead weight to us. Okay, where are we? Okay, it's not going to lead us anywhere useful. Get our red key card out. Let's head down to level 6. got down here we got a dead corpse here it looks like a power generator over here what else is that a child a peasant other corpses corpses robots let's get over here let's get some more easy experience let's actually just get this goddamn pistol in the slot because this seems to be doing a lot more damage than the shotgun let's just get that slotted up Did he just scratch himself All right. You're not talking, robot. You're silly. Let's head on down here. Turn it. And then we're just gonna blast him real quick in the CPU. He was killed just one shot, huh? All right, let's combat it out. Let's reload our pistola. Let's get going here. All right, let's see. Let's check some of these corpses out. Maybe they have some goodies for us. Maybe they have some goodies for us. Stim pack, more plasma cells, but. As I said, we're not really set up for... Alright, let's go up here. Let's open this up. Let's hit the back corpse first. He's got a 10 mil, nothing crazy. Nothing, even less. Alright, let's head down here. Bar corpse? Plasma pistol? I have been some rat away. Let's take that. Might be needing that. If not, we can always sell it off. Alright, let's go check this peasant, which oddly enough looks like a child, but maybe his legs were blown off or something. It's kind of sketchy, but. Okay, so they got some chain gun ammo and some deagle ammo. If it is a child, then I don't know who allowed the child to have chain gun ammo. Who gave the baby 5mm armor piercing chain gun ammo? I don't know. Okay. So I think this is why I was jacking up my repair skill. Let's repair this. Save it. So I don't want him tinkering around with it and busting it or something. Okay. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god, this might... I'm gonna charge this up. There we go. We start it all up. We get a thousand experience. Look at that, the lights come on. That's nice. That's nice. But I have a feeling that now we're going to have to deal with... Deal with pesky robotos. Alright, so here's that other elevator that we saw on the other floor, on the fourth floor. So let's bust out our blue key card. Hoping these robots don't have lasers and shit. But you never know. At least we don't have the sentry bots. Jesus Christ, those are a goddamn nightmare. By sentry bots, I mean not... I mean, these are all labeled sentry bots, but these are like robo-brains. These are like iBots. 
Um, the sentry bots are the ones that are just nightmares. They have... They have lasers and missiles and everything. Every other goddamn thing. Okay. Tons of these. These guys are down. I don't know if they'll stay down. Okay, have some lockers down there. Got a 40s computer up there. Alright, let's see if we can't fucking bust this out, huh? Yep, he's up. Yeah, take that, Roboto. Alright, let's reload it while we can. And let's step back. We got robots coming in from there, too. This guy looks like he's got some sort of laser beam or something. He's got a rifle, too. You son of a bitch, robot. The humanoid must not escape. That's bullshit. He's got a rifle, too. These better be just like generic hunting rifles, or I'm gonna be pissed. You just stabbed me? Okay, so we're gonna click this to this. I'm gonna bust this guy again. Yeah, take that. Oh, he's still up, though. What do you think about that, robot? These guys don't seem to... I mean, I don't know what this... It's like a cattle prod, I think. So actually, he doesn't have a laser. He's just got like a little cattle prod. This guy's got a bead on me now, though, I think. Looks like he has line of sight. Okay, we're gonna bust this guy right there. Yeah, that's what I thought, robot. How do you like that? Yeah. Let your oil, let your lifeblood oil. 17, shit. Yeah, these guys got beads on me. Okay. Okay. Use this on me. And then we are going to quickly. Yep, now they, they don't have line of sight. They gotta get in here. Hopefully that'll allow me to. Well, he's right there, so maybe I can bust one in him right there. If not, I'll have to cap this guy. He's gonna swing in. getting swarmed. It was that goddamn nightmare. Yep, he's not in that line of sight. So, let's bust this guy. Shit. And then I am going to shoot this guy right in the brain. Oh my god, so much for wrapping this up. Oh my god. This might be it, boys. Nine, that's not too bad. Now I'm getting swarmed. I don't know what to do. Jesus Christ. CPU. Okay. You can do that. Man. 
And I'm Dunsky. Even 12. Shit. Where'd we leave off, anyway? Although this is inaccurate, because this would indicate that I was killed out in the wasteland. And I wasn't. I was killed on the fifth floor of a military installation. Let's see where we're at with things. Let's load our game up. Jesus, that was rough. Okay, right before we uh, repaired this. So I think that what I'll do is I'll cut this episode short here. I will backtrack. I'll do all this shit off camera and see what I can't do um, to maybe facilitate killing those robots. Thank you again for joining me. Give me all that loving down below, and I will see you again next time.